reality is is the real differences between the two platforms. One believes in abortion under no circumstances, rape, incest, yes. the life of a mother. The other one says, hey, a woman has a right to choose, especially Except in those you circumstances. you took out, on this issue of abortion, you took out language from previous platforms that said it should be safe, legal, and rare. And uh, I think this Democratic convention was really over the top in terms of abortion. They, every single speaker talked about abortion. And, you know, at some point, you start to alienate people. 30% of Democrats are pro-life. No, and but, this but that, becomes... Hold on, stop for a second. We had, we had leaders of the Catholic Church, leaders in the Catholic faith in our convention. I'm every single speaker. I was one of them. I didn't mention abortion at all. What we did mention was that we don't think we should be gutting family planning. We don't think we should be attacking Planned Parenthood. If you want to make abortion safe, legal, and rare, but support you women's but rights. You didn't, women's you access that to health care. But, but, but so you're worried about those three words? I'm worried about real substantive uh, policy, like access to health, health planning for families. That's what I'm interested in. One candidate says we should gut family planning. We should gut Planned Parenthood. Another candidate says we should support those things because at the end of the day, not only does it make economic sense, but it makes moral sense as well.